Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Today is going to be a good one because I have some big news to tell you all. But first of all, I just want to say, or give a warm welcome to, should I say, <laughs> my one of my besties, Sam. Hello. Sam is famous. <laughs> <laughs> she is famous. She is a capital uh, DJ, aren't you, Sam? I am. Come on, sell yourself. Tell, tell you two all about yourself. I am a capital dance presenter on well, the radio. We're on X Factor as well. Google it or go into YouTube. You'll see us singing away. <laughs> Uh, and now we're here to get <laughs> fucking massive! But yeah, no, Sam is also uh, sponsored by Supplement Needs with myself. She's also an aspiring wellness athlete. Sam and I train together every single Saturday, um, which is pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, we've become really close over the last few weeks. Um, because we are the same person. It is crazy. <laughs> Me, Charlotte and Sam, or Charlotte, Sam and I, should I say. A crazy trio. Uh, yeah. We are dangerous, the crazy dangerous trio. Wabby and wellness. So we're going to be training uh, glutes and quads today. And then I believe Cal's going to come and see us both at one o'clock. So enjoy. Let's go. And we'll catch you soon. Calves first. Oh, yeah. It's mm. Right. So a couple of days ago, I came to the decision that I am no longer going to prep just yet. I had a conversation with Callum and prep was going amazing, like my body's responding really well, I'm really enjoying it, but there's just this like niggling thing in my mind um, and a little bit of anxiety towards stepping on stage in what, 13 weeks, 14 weeks time. I've just moved my whole life up to Sheffield, which is a massive thing, you know, like moving your whole life, like new environment, to then go straight into a prep I just felt like it was very overwhelming and I want to get settled before I start the biggest prep of my whole life and the logistics as well like so I was going to be doing Toronto and California uh, back to back shows like big shows as well not that that make you know not that that's an issue but I just it was making me feel very very overwhelmed with it being so close and I know I've competed for a long time, I know how I should feel before or during a prep. And I just feel like there's this niggling thing in the back of my mind. So I spoke to Cal on the phone the other day and we've decided that we're gonna pull my prep now. We're gonna hold me here, uh, drive Cal's up a little bit and then start my pro debut prep in June. So my goal is to jump on the UK stage in September. And what a lovely first pro debut show. On UK soil, my friends, my clients, and my family can watch me. And then I may, well, I will do a show in Europe and then possibly America as well. So essentially all I've done is just pushed it back a bit, but it feels like the right thing to do. And I think this is where understanding your own psychology is really important. And this is like what, what separates good athletes from maybe not so aware and, what's the word I'm trying to use? Yeah maybe not so self-aware um, and I think you know a lot of people they want to jump on stage for the sake of it but I know when I I should do that essentially and for me right now I just don't think it's the the best decision to do I'd rather do my shows towards the back end of the year I feel more settled um, and also it gives me more time to grow so it's a win-win really like I'm still competing this year but I'm just essentially just pushing everything back and then hopefully you know it'll all pay off but yeah that that's my update I've never done this before in a prep. I've always just stuck with, with the plan, but I'm listening to how I feel, I listen to my body and my mind, and that's really, really important in this game. So, yeah. Sam has just said, do you remember when thigh gaps were a thing? Back in 2000. Well, look, it's never. not a thing now. Look yeah, at them. Walk, it's like, eh, shake. Eh. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what it feels, I don't know what it feels like to be able to walk without my like, legs touching. 
Big old and duck does. I can squish a watermelon with mine. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that on my next YouTube. Yeah, no. Do you have a watermelon <laughs> contest? <laughs> I'll get an egg. I thought we were going to get a watermelon. I'm kidding. Those views will be mad. <laughs> <sighs> Stretch on them. Hold in. Hold in. Let's go. Yes. Come on. Yep. A couple more. Come on. Yeah, nice. Full stretch. There. Let's go. Yep. Come on. Me too. At least one. Come on, Chloe. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's dig skin. I got lean really quick. I actually, uh, I'm not about to see them right now, but I was getting like ab veins as well. So like, uh, on, where are we today? Saturday. On Wednesday, I was like five kilos down from when I started prep. And I'm now like a kilo and a bit up. I'm not sure why, to be fair, because I haven't even had an increase in calories. I had an off plan meal the other day. But yeah, my goal isn't to put on much body fat now. It's to keep me, it's to keep me in a good position where I can train effectively so I'm fueled enough in my sessions. But to have me in a good position so when I start prep in June, like my body responds really quick because I've only got 12 weeks to show number one. So yeah, I mean, Callum's coming in at one o'clock, so he's gonna take you through, give you the lowdown of what we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I feel, I feel good about it. Yeah. yeah. She's the size here, you're an animal. I'm an animal. She's an animal. <laughs> uh, Which is my baby, Chloe, really. <laughs> I'm a whammy and wellness animal. She's a whammy and wellness child. Everyone is what, proper, prin yeah. proper princess, aren't you? Yes. Chloe's a, a proper, proper princess. A proper princess. She gives me this look like a proud man when I'm halfway through my sets. <laughs> Don't you? Proper googly eyes in that. <laughs> I think it's more like sisterly vibes to be fair. Yeah. Twin, twinny vibes. Even though Sam's way younger than me. So like she's older. Because <laughs> I'm a like Charlotte. Adult. <laughs> it's probably so much smoother than the old Yeah, it's nice, one. isn't it? Why? I mean the Rotherham one. Oh, tune. Raven and misbehaving <laughs> yeah. and growing. Yeah. yeah. Me Callum and you was... in there, Chloe, after the session. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Callum around. Was like, when I rang him up, but we had a conversation, he was like, oh, Chloe, you can like, you can do all your raving now as well. And I was like, <laughs> don't tell me twice, son. Why have I just dropped them? Huh? Oh. Me and Chloe are going in the box coming after this hour. Are we? Yeah. Are we going to do a you naked round, fight? A naked one. A naked one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> with, with oil and shit. Oh, baby oil. <laughs> Probably slippery vibes, that though. <laughs> oh, God. If you ever need motivation for a set, talk about baby oil. Another non PG video of Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Pending. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Oh, two more. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> Easy. Drive it, drive it. Come on, come on. Finish it, finish it. Yeah, it's good. <sighs> Thought a baby oil got me through that one. <laughs> come on, get that squeeze in. Yes. <clears throat> come on, Chloe, remember who the fuck you are. Let's get it. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> come on. Two from here. <sighs> Two from here. There's one. Big one. And again. One, one then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Partial. Dry humping at the end. <laughs> Resting. Me. Quite old. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I was doing Smith Machine squats and 
I did a warm up with three plates because I did that the week before for my top set. And as I went down, I got to the bottom and my back went. Honestly, I was so fucking scared. And what I should have done is I should have realized that I was struggling in that session because I was in a deficit and I was feeling a bit fucked. And I really shouldn't have gone for that weight that I did the week before. So when you're in a prep, you've got to remember that there will be sessions where you're a little bit fucked and you sometimes got to drop that ego because that's where injuries can occur. So now that's happened to me, I'm aware of it. And I'm just like very, very mindful now, but now I'm obviously not in prep at the moment. So I can go fucking crazy, but yeah, just remember that when you're, when you're in a prep. because that is you as a wellness athlete and that is me. Knowing that you're there, 
in case yeah. it sets a fire in you where you're like, nah, fuck you, I've got it. And then... Especially with, like, this squat. So with the hat squat, if you, like, bottom out, it doesn't matter. You're not going anywhere. But this, oh. It's just a bit awkward to get out of on your own, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a lot of confidence. But like you said, spotting someone isn't about doing the rep for them. Absolutely you not. barely touch it, but it's more of a confidence thing for your head. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to go this one out. Two. Make it count. Yep, come on. Come on. You, again. Head up, head up. Back. That made a twin. Leave it, cut it. This went pop. Dead, dead, dead. This is worrying. Why? The proper top. Quad? Yeah. Right here. Huh? I've never had shit like this. Why is it all starting now? Ooh. Come on! Come on, Chloe! Ooh. Come on! Yeah, 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 leave it. Watch the back, watch your back. Yeah. Right. RDL, the main thing to focus on when you're performing them is push through your whole foot, not just your heels, and like allow the bar to take your arms down so you're not in the track. And as you go, whew, as you go down, push those glutes back. Think about your glutes, slide towards the bottom. Think about glutes again. Drive up with the hips. What you shouldn't do is that. So you use your back. Make it fully dominant exercise. Literally here and then down. RDL tip. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Right, be sensible. One more. One more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> Good shit. See, the thing is, you probably had more, but it wasn't worth it for your back. And that's why you get the best out of it. And that's why you get this big. Come on. Easy. Easy, Chloe. Easy. Come on. Come on. Ooh. You. Fucking loads in there. Come on. Shh. And again. Ah. Easy. Come on, don't cheat. Let's go. Again. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Two. There's one. That took too much off me. Just one then. Work for it, work for it. Yes. Woo. Yes. Come on, Dad. Come on, come on. With me. Yes. Mm. And again. Breathe. Exhale now. One, 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 one. Drive, come on, yes, yes, finish it, finish it. Yes. Well done. Woo! Oh, just one more. Oh, you know. High rep. Your waist is fucking tiny, man. I can't 
see myself then. <laughs> Those front shots are fucking wild. Wild. I love this one on me. You know why your waist looks so small as well? Why? Because of this. Yeah, that's absolutely wild. Nice. Yeah. So you can you can just start to get a glimpse now of what tissue is gonna stick around. Yeah. Because obviously it's peak off season, you're like, I don't know what's gonna yeah. stay and what's not. Whereas now you can see that. You can see it clearly. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm very happy. Because my physique died a little bit for a while. It's definitely not, it's definitely not dead. My upper body, it makes it look... Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Ben? <laughs> you obviously saw me before yeah. when I was doing my prep before. Yeah. It's, it's a big difference to that last season. Big difference. It's my front shot. Like, yeah. If you look at Fran, she's not the biggest and she's got this like shape. And I think like, my shape carries me a lot, doesn't it? Even yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's going to come in smaller. That's going to pop more. They're going to come through. Yeah. yeah. Very happy. Very happy. Yeah. So we've pretty much got 12 weeks to continue that little bit of improvement now, but whole condition quite close to this. Yeah. Slow with food, patient, and then 12 weeks to be since honest, the first show. I'm one now. I'm fine with it. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not even. The biggest thing is is all is just. Uh, a diet that you feel as though you can progress on. I reckon that like three one mark, perfect. Yeah, yeah. A couple of hundred more and then hold. Yeah. 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 And then like the odd meal are here and there as you need to. Yeah. And then my steps 10 to 12k. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Like it's nuts so like this is no cardio as well. Zero cardio, 12 k steps. Zero cardio, zero fat burners. Mad. I know. Mad. Magic man. No, it's your fucking off season. <laughs> and the uh you know, genetic freak. <laughs> it's your off season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really fucking good. Really good. Cool. Yeah. I think that um, that timeline with the change, I think once you map everything out and look at things logistically, it makes more sense. I think it's way better. Way better. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be that time to get my breathing a little bit more, build a bit more tissue. I'm, I've basically done a recon, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm in a really you, yeah, good you've, position. you've done the start of the prep, so you can start in an even better place next time. Yeah. Cool. And you're not in a that wobble that you get where you're 12 weeks out, and you're like, what's fucking going to be there at the end of this prep? That's not there anymore because you know. can see it. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Nice. Right, guys. Thank you for watching my YouTube. Hopefully, you enjoyed seeing me and Sam be cheeky and non-PG and dangerous. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely fucked. You always start off with sessions, <laughs> Yeah, I'm um, angry. Yeah, so Callum's really happy with where I'm at. Um, game plan is to increase my calories ever so slightly. I'm currently having about 2,900 on training day. We're going to bump it up to 3-1. Hold me there. Um, keep my steps 10 to 12k per day, which is what I've been doing anyway. And just literally cruise into the next prep. Um, but he's happy. I'm looking... I think it's Phenomenal. the best I've ever looked. Phenomenal. Um, I'm really fucking happy. So, yeah. How um, long have you got? 12 weeks? No, I start prepping June. So I'm doing, I have 12 weeks. Uh, Until prep. prep. Before, no, I have, hang on. Where are we now? March, April, May, June. Yeah, three, four, yeah. tw four, eight, just 12 weeks until prep. And I've got six weeks until prep. And then 12 weeks until my show. As in from June. Oh my God, that was I'll long. I'll spoon feed her the entire time. Anyway, yeah, as always, like, share, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.